gang, welcome back. In today's video we're going to be taking a very close look at a few Federal Reserve notes using the microscope you see here along with varying magnifications up to 400 times. The United States has seven different denominations, 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100, but in this video we're only going to be looking at 3, the 20, the 50, and the 100. The purpose of this video is to show you the kinds of security features employed in these notes, tell you a few cool facts about these notes, and hopefully after watching this video, you'll know exactly how to identify a fake note. The quality microscope you're looking at right here is the same one that was shown on my channel a few years ago in another video. If you're looking for a quality microscope that's not too expensive, then I highly recommend this one. I placed a link to this model in the video description area to make it easier for you. Okay, first I want to talk about the paper that's used to print these notes. Now when you look at a note, it feels just like paper and it looks like paper, but the thing is it's really more of a fabric, a very hard pressed fabric into a very thin sheet. These notes are made up of 75% cotton fibers and 25% linen, and the linen is made from flax fibers. So if you were to look at this under the microscope, which I'm going to show you right now, in an area where there's not any ink, you're going to see under a lower magnification each one of those fibers that are pressed together to make up this note. In this image here, you can see all of the fibers together pressed down, and if I magnify further up to 400 times, this is what the fiber looks like. Now to show that this is more of a fabric, if we take a look under magnification at the edge of a note, you're going to see all little fibers sticking off the edge. And you can see it right here in these images. This is a newer bill. And if you take a look at this note right here, this is what it looks like as time goes by and it gets worn down you can see a lot more fibers are sticking off the edge of that note. This paper or fabric is made by one company in the United States for the Federal Reserve and they've been making it for almost 140 years. To protect against counterfeiting, many different security features are employed within this note, which I'm going to point out to you in a minute. Each one of these notes is printed multiple times to get all the security features onto the note before it's released into circulation. Each time this note is printed, a different color shifting ink, metallic ink, or other specialized ink is added to the note. Now in order to make this harder to counterfeit, one of the security features is that small red and blue fibers have been added into this fabric with the fibers to make it very hard for people to duplicate. So when you look at it under magnification, like I'm going to show you right now, you're going to see the blue fibers and the red fibers. Right here, you can see one of the blue fibers. Here's another blue fiber. And over here is a red fiber. Every one of these notes will have those fibers in them. Now if you hold your finger like this, very, very lightly, and you drag across the bill, you can feel that there's a lot of raised printing going on, especially over the serial number and this right here, the seal. You can actually feel it and it makes it very difficult to duplicate this if you're not going to make it raised. The bills also have a strip that's in between the layers or weaved into the layers. It's a security strip, maybe two millimeters wide, and you can see it right here using an ultraviolet light as the UV light passes over the $20 bill and the 50 you can see the strip inside of there glow. Now with the 100 that's a different story. The 100 uses a hologram. This strip is much wider and it feels like a piece of plastic. I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like under magnification but if you hold it a certain way like I'm about to show you you're going to see that there's a Liberty Bell in here and then if you move it in one direction or the other, it's going to say 100. And you can see it's weaved through the note. The paper crosses over here, there, and there. 
Here's the Liberty Bell, and you can see it becomes 100. Liberty Bell and 100. And this is what the strip looks like using the microscope. You can see the blue area appears to be a little bit lower than the surrounding fabric or paper. It appears that that entire strip is covered in very tiny circles. But as we increase magnification, you can tell that each one of them is actually a hexagon. All right, so now you know about the red and blue fibers, you know about the security strip, and you know about the raised printing. Those are three security features. In this image here, you can see that the note is actually very bumpy. It's not flat like paper. It's more of like a canvas or a fabric. You can see there's a lot of highs and lows. And in this image right over here, you can see where the ink has been applied to the note. And you can see a whole bunch of areas have been missed because the fibers are much lower in certain spots and in other spots it's much higher. Now I want to go over another thing called color shifting ink. Right over here, this 20. It's not doing too good here because of my lighting, but when light, especially sunlight, hits this, it changes to all different shades. Now I'm going to zoom in to this 20 right here. This is what the 20 looks like under low magnification. And it looks like little tiny metallic pieces or glitter. And when I magnify further, you can see larger pieces now watch what happens to all those little fragments when light is directed at the 20 from varying angles. You can see the iridescent colors, how it changes with the light. Very cool and very hard to duplicate. If somebody tried to print this and you looked at this under magnification, you're not going to see those metallic flakes. It's just going to be the printer trying to duplicate this color that you see right here. So very easy, you hold a little magnifier, angle a light source here, a bright LED, and if you see it changing colors, that's one more sign that the note is genuine. Over here is also more color shifting ink. Now the next thing I want to go over are water marks on the bill. Right over here you can see Grant's face, and then there's a water mark on the right. The same applies for the 20. Here you have Andrew Jackson, and right over here is a smaller image. Just to show you on the 100 over here this color shifting ink there's a bell right there. Now you can see it. Color shifting ink here. This opening is where Benjamin Franklin's face would be if you held it up to the light. The watermark and these little yellow spots here each one of these says 100 now another security feature are these very, very fine lines used in the background color images. You can see there's an eagle back here. Then this says 20 USA, 20 USA. This is very faint, but it does have very tiny lines in it. If you were to try and copy this with a laser printer, these fine lines would never look like what you see right here. So these greatly reduce counterfeiting. Now the next thing I want to show you, which is very, very cool, Another test to see if the note is genuine. Take a powerful neodymium magnet and you're going to pass it very closely over the surface of the bill. When you get to an area where the ink is very heavy, like down here on Jackson at the bottom, it should attract the magnetic ink in the bill and lift up the note. And you can see right there. If this was copied on a laser printer, more than likely they would not be using magnetic ink and you would not see that effect. Now before I show you the last security feature, which to me is the most important one that will make it very easy for you to tell if any of these notes are counterfeit or not, first I'd like to tell you about two things. Each one of these notes was designed to be double folded up to 4,000 times before the paper would actually tear. So double fold means fold it in half and then fold it back in the same spot. That's one fold. You could do that up to 4,000 times before it will actually fall apart right here and just tear off. Each one of these bills, regardless of denomination, weighs approximately one gram. 
So if you have a whole bunch of 20s, like I'm going to show you right now, and you place it on a very small digital scale. Okay, so turn on the scale. I'm going to make sure it's set to grams. It is. Let's push tear, zero it out. Now, if you have a huge stack of 20s, this will work. And in my case, it's just a smaller stack, so I'm going to lay them on the scale, make sure they're dry. And you can see 12 grams. So there's 12 20s, that's $240. 100, 240. So it works very well. Of course, if you have a huge stack like this, it'll still work, but you're going to have a little bit of error there. So instead of having like $5,000 in a stack, it might be 5,100. So it, it's not perfectly accurate, but you can get a very good idea of how much money's laying around if you know what the denomination is and you know the weight. Okay, let me show you the last security feature. Now the last security feature that's used on all of these notes to me is the best one of all and it's probably the easiest way to tell if any of these are counterfeit and you can also use it to check driver's licenses and know with absolute certainty if you have a forged driver's license or a genuine one and the same thing applies with the bills. Now the printing that's used on here is extremely small and to the unaided eye you won't even be able to make it out or barely visible. On the Jackson bill, right over here, in that little tiny bar is printing. And when you look under a microscope or if you use a jeweler's eye loop, it's going to look like what you see right over here. If you look at the $50 bill, right over by Grant's collar, you're going to see United States of America, like you see in this image right here. In addition to the United States of America, along the edges, inside the border, it's going to say 50, like you see right here. If you look at the $100 note, right under the name Franklin, in that border, you're going to see USA, USA, USA. Having that microprinting makes it extremely difficult, if not impossible, because I don't think there's any laser printers around that can get down that small to copy what it says. If you tried to copy this, what would end up happening, you would just see a little blur and a black line. It would not say USA, USA. So a quick recap, if you know to look for the fibers, the blue and the red, if you actually look at the makeup, of the note to see that it looks more like a fabric than paper. The security strips that are on the notes, you want to look at the color shifting ink and metallic inks. You want to look at the micro printing and in the background is going to be very fine lines that make up these images and if you tried to copy that with a printer they would not show up. On the back of a $100 bill and you can see this is open on the inside of the numbers and in here you have those very fine lines that are almost impossible to copy using a laser copier and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to rate thumbs up subscribe and post links to this video on other websites and blogs also be sure to check out my video playlist as well thank you very much for watching